time. We're seeing here on the dailies, there's UDA jitters over polls, there's deep split in Ruto's party. But Honorable Mbui, I'd like to start with you on this conversation in terms of the split. There seems to be sometimes back, there was a conversation between the head of state and the deputy president on the issue of the shareholders. The deputy president says he has no apologies to make at all. The president can go around in other places and look for vo voters, but he's going to galvanize the Mount Kenya region and the Rift Valley region. This caused a lot of split in the political scene. Was that an overreaction from your end as members of parliament? Because then what is the problem with what the deputy president said and what the president is doing? Yeah, thanks, uh, Trevor. Now, my, my understanding is uh, on that matter of, uh, of the shareholding, there's two, there's two parts to it. First and foremost, I think the real uh, target by the deputy president at the point when he started talking about it, because he started it when they were just about to form government, uh, was actually a message to the president. Because what he was saying is that uh, about 47% of the votes cast in favor of, the, of Kenya Kwanzaa came from the mountain. And in essence, what he was doing, he was taking his claim as probably being the single most important uh, region in, 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 in supporting this government to come to power. And uh, remember that uh, the, the, the party leader also, the region he comes from, um, did not give as many votes. So I think that was what the fight was. But uh, of course, as Azimir, we realized that uh, that was also going to balkanize the country. And we, 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 def we refused that position. We, we made our, our, our position clear that it was very unfair to try and disenfranchise part of the country or parts of the country because of uh, the way people voted. So I think basically the, the, the split started at that time. And if you, if you, if you keenly watch what is happening, even, even in the new, recent uh, reshuffle of, uh, of cabinet, it's, it's a clear indication that there is a fight within, uh, within Kenya Kwanzaa. There is a major fight. Um, all the way from um, uh, who, who, who speaks for which region, um, because that problem is happening not only is it in Mount Kenya because I'll tell you Trevor that uh, Mount Kenya the, 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 the deputy party leader is not sitting pretty. There are many members, uh, you know, elected members that are also taking claim for the leadership of the region. In fact I will tell you that uh, going into 2027 it's very unlikely that uh, the mountain will go in united. There will be several leaders and that's why if you see some of the, you know, young leaders being propped up. I expect uh, I suspect most likely by the party leader. So, so, so going forward, if there is a problem there. You go to Western, you find there's a co again an issue of who is the leader in that region. So I think uh, the division in, uh, in, in, in Kenya Kwanzaa is, is, really, is really a big one, Trevor, and uh, I, I don't know whether they can get out of it. But finally, on the issue of, um, of, uh, of, of, of this uh, shareholding, it's, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, the deputy party leader of uh, this Kenya Kwanzaa administration has not realized that he is the deputy party he is the deputy president also of the Republic of Kenya. He has stuck in central Kenya uh, and, and made sure that uh, he, he makes it every day clear to everyone that his only interest in uh, being in office is to defend one community, one region. Yeah. I mean, that obviously tells us that we are seriously headed in the wrong direction under the leadership of this team. Yeah. Honorable Hassan, is this a lack of proper leadership?